The Odeon, which started its life as the magnificent Walker Theatre, was one of the most elegant movie houses in Winnipeg. But my fondest memories of it, from the late 70s, are of going to press screenings in the small private screening room beside the manager's office when I was writing reviews for the university paper. I probably spent more time in the Odeon Theatre than any other theatre. and. Uh, the, the funny story about it was well, my dad worked in the parking lot right next door to the Odeon Theatre and he was the parking attendant there. And the manager of Odeon and Garrick Theatres at that time uh, had his office in the Odeon Theatre and he was a monthly parker. And he would offer my dad free passes to the movies. Are you kidding me? A seven, eight-year-old with a free pass to go to a Godian or Garrick theater, uh, you know, like I said, we didn't have a lot of money, and was, this was just one of the biggest bonuses that, I, that, that could ever happen to a child. And I, I thoroughly enjoyed my time in the Odeon Theater. It, uh, it, it was something that was really special. I remember the first time as a child walking into the Odeon Theatre and thinking to myself, oh my God, I've just walked into this palace. You know, there were there was these balconies that were off to the sides and, and uh, the architecture of, of the theatre itself was, uh, to me, it just, it, it was a huge impression upon me. I got into entertaining by doing some commercials as a small child. My mom read them to me and I memorized them and eventually joined the Eaton's Good Deed Club radio choir. And we sang one year at Christmas on the Christmas holidays between Christmas and New Year's at the Odeon Theater. I think it was one of the few theaters that had a real proscenium arch. And we were there every evening right after school till I guess about nine o'clock. And we'd sing between the shows and we got to watch the movies every night, every night, until we practically memorized the lines from Outpost in Malaya and Three for Bedroom C. Um, the casts were pretty amazing, the movies were dreadfully corny, but it was a lot of fun. They really put on a show, they really did. And one night, the singing teacher who shall remain nameless was known as a bit of a tippler and she darn near fell off the balcony. <laughs> It's a Saturday, time to make your way. Grab your friends and go to the local picture show. Get in line for the Saturday matinee.